how, how were you introduced to SANS? Was it somebody at GSK that, that introduced you? Yeah, so I was trying to think about um, what my first experience was. And I think I, I had a coworker back in 2013 that was like, hey, have you heard of the SANS thing? You know, they're like the, the awesomest of training, like everything, you know, you go to one of these things and you just get your mind pumped full of all this information in a very short period of time. I was like, great, that sounds exactly like what I want, right? And so, uh, fortunately, my um, employer had the funds to send me to a class at the time. So I think it was summer of 2014, I took my first SANS class. And what was the first course you took? I took, <laughs> this sounds crazy, uh, I took Forensic 610, the malware reverse engineering <laughs> course. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, at the time, I don't know if that was a good or a bad choice, but uh, after I finished it, it turned out it was a good choice. Um, I really, really loved the course and I always liked taking apart malware and wanted to kind of get into that stuff. And that was, you know, something I was doing at work. And so I looked at it and I thought, hmm, you know, I read to the syllabus and I'm like, I think I can do this. And a lot of it was based around like assembly and, um, decompiling and stuff like that. And from my, you know, electrical engineering days, I had done that sort of stuff before. So I understood assembly language and, and I had used microcontrollers to build projects in college and stuff like that. So that's, I think, is one of the things that intimidates a lot of people. And since I had been in a debugger and, and decompiled stuff before, I was like, that seems like the hardest part of this. And I think I, I understand the main concepts. Right. And so, uh, took that, ended up doing the certification for that. And uh, kind of went on from there. And that, that one um, was, I think, definitely like a, a pivotal point in my career because I came back from that in, in 2014 and no one else in the team had taken that course yet. So at that point, I was like the guy who had this um, advanced training in malware. And I think it really helped to just, you know, it was a really good addition to the team in terms of a skill set and uh, really helped me with my career along the way. And then from there, I just kept taking more and more courses and uh, things continued to go well.